Hey guys, it's Mimi. Um, this is going to be one of my most transparent videos I've ever done. I think I've actually only ever done one. And this one is there with it. Um, in 2020, I made the decision after I was in a really bad car accident, battling depression and everything like that, I made a decision to cut all my hair off it honestly was a hard decision, but it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Emotionally, I felt refreshed. I felt alive. I felt rejuvenated. Um, they say hair doesn't make you or define you, but in reality, it does. I've tried so many other things from wigs, weaves, braids. Now I have locks and I'm not in love with my hair. Um, I thought that locks was going to be the answer for me and since I've gotten them, the only thing I chose to do was cover them up. I'm not in love with them. And oof, I wanna take y'all on this journey with me because I'm there again. I'm here again battling with depression. I'm here again not feeling love for myself. I'm not feeling free. I'm not feeling alive. And after I cut my hair in 2020, I felt the best I ever felt. And I want that feeling again. So I am choosing to cut all my hair off again. I know it's only hair, it grows back, but it's hard, you know? <laughs> it's really hard to make major decisions like that, even though I know in the end, it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> um, I'm sitting in the car currently and choosing to do this because I don't like crying around my children and I don't want them to feel like something is wrong because I'm crying when it's actually happy tears. So for most of you who don't know, these are my locks. I've been locked for six months. Um, I went through a major problem since I've gotten my hair locked my hair has fallen out um I battled with skin problems and it took a major effect to my scalp um I'm gonna insert some pictures from when I first showed made the decision to cut my hair off and when I first made the decision to get it locked after it grew back but it's time <laughs> and I just want to feel free again I battle every day with my hair defining me finding hairstyles that I'm in love with that I like makes me feel beautiful inside and I want to get back to the point where hair does not define the person you are Oh. <laughs> oh. really having a mental fucking breakdown but it's done I'm gonna go wash my hair and 
pull myself together. <laughs> I did it, guys. Here's all my dress. <laughs> Here's all my hair. And <laughs> And I'm gonna go in the house and fall in love with me again. And I'll be back, okay? I am currently bleaching my hair so that I can dye it. Um, I'm sure y'all know what color I'm dyeing it because I have two favorite colors that I've dyed my dreads, my real hair before I got my dreads. So I'm debating if I want to do one color or both colors but anyways look at our little hallway guys look at my little ghost and stuff I did for the kids my door mummy they got pumpkins wait it's more pumpkins forget the cowboy hat <laughs> but the little spider webs so cute they had like candy and stuff and stickers. But if you know kids, the candy is just about gone. This little witch is annoying, so I turned her off. Anytime you walk past her, she do that. Y'all know I'm always being extra for my babies. But my favorite part is definitely the little ghost hanging from the ceiling. And the door mommy made of tissue. DIY. <laughs> but it's so cute, right? So I am bleaching my hair, like I said, then I'm gonna dye it and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. So this is actually the shortest chop I've ever done. Last time I cut my hair, it was longer than this, but <laughs> I'm happy. So I'm gonna insert some cute little selfie pics I put. Okay, so I want to put some clothes on because I just want to see how I look if I got dressed up or whatever. But we are about to go and get Mo's reaction. Let's go. Y'all ready? Yeah. Keep your eyes closed, okay? Okay. Everyone open. Open your eyes.